Well, let's move on now. Uh, the presidency, as you may have heard, they've been explaining the recent incident at the State House among some of the residents, which escalated, leading to the arrest of some staff by the police. Now, in a statement, the presidency describes the incident as a minor occurrence being used by some critics to justify attacks on the government and the person of President Mama Dubari. Well, the uh, the spokesperson for the president, uh, Mr. Garbashehu, said the incident happened outside the main residence of uh, the president. Of course, they, there have been reports of shooting at the villa by some security officials in pursuit of a presidential aide who had allegedly refused to isolate himself for COVID-19 after traveling out of the state, after the federal capital. Now, the first lady was said to have been infuriated by the aide's action and reportedly fled, and it was in the process of stopping him that shots were fired. The president has ordered a further investigation into the matter, as you may have also seen in the opening sequence during the dailies. Now, joining us to uh, shed some light on what transpired, we've got uh, the man who put out the statement himself, Mr. Gabba Shew, who is the President's uh, Senior Special Assistant in Media and Publicity. He joins us by, from Abuja. Good morning, Mr. Shew. Thank you for joining us this today. All right, and then we also do have uh, joining us in the studios in Abuja, uh, Sani Omar, who is the former spokesperson for PDP's Presidential Campaign Council. Thank you for joining us as well today on the program. Thank you, Chamberlain. Good morning. Let me start with Mr. Shew on this matter. Well, it did raise a lot of concern, and thankfully, as you did put up in that statement, the president was not in any harm whatsoever it's good for the country to know that but people are still surprised what's going on how did this happen well uh, if at this point we know everything about the incident what happened why it happened then the investigation that the president has ordered will not have been warranted i think that it is for us to exercise a bit of patience and await the outcomes uh, of uh, the investigations that are ongoing. If I can, yeah. sorry, uh, if I can quickly follow up on that, uh, Mr. Shehu, this is not the first time we're hearing of these kind of things, you know, that have to do with the family of the president, and um, you know, it gets into public uh, uh, space and it gets messy if uh, some people would say. Uh, some would have expected that somehow or the other, you know you know, this would have been nipped in the bud somehow. Is there any way of saying that this would be the last time people would hear of this? I think that uh, when you look at what is happening all over the world, uh, governments at the very top are composed of people with the different, different, different backgrounds orientations and uh, and, uh, and thoughts. Uh, so they bring, they, they bring uh, into the government all of the perspectives that they differently hold. And disagreements uh, do occur. And, and, uh, and uh, what then happens is that uh, these are usually within limits. And uh, so it is not expected that uh, there will be unanimity in opinion or points of view because you happen to be working in the same government. The, the thing then is that this thing should be with a limit. Where there is a spike, where there is a, an incident as we have seen uh, happen on Thursday in the State House, then an investigation is warranted and uh, something will follow. And is that they are supposed to be in charge of security at the villa <laughs> primarily. Uh, so have they do, you, do we know if they made any arrests or anything coming from them at the moment? No. All I know is that they've been taken away. And as we said in our statement, you know, ordinarily it is uh, assumed, it is taken that uh, they have come with the best of preparations. They are tutored on how they would uh, carry weapons and use them. And uh, if they come short, then, then they have questions to answer. And I think this is what's happening. 